This is fresh fish. It was caught by me. Oh. We're eating a combination of mutton snapper, gray snapper, and yellowtail snapper. I want to make everybody a little appetizer real quick. We're tired, it's been a long day on the boat. I'm going to make what's called a hush puppy down here in the south. I'll just take all these bottom loins, dice them up, seasoned cornmeal. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh cream corn. So fresh, it's right out of the can. Perfect. We'll be able to make a nice, small, thin cake, fry it to a golden brown. We're using canola oil, give them a little crunchy flavor. Top it with a little orange blossom honey. It has that wonderful aroma and flavor. I'm gonna do a sauteed snapper with a key lime beurre blanc. The key lime brings out that tropical flavor. Then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of fresh tropical fruit salsa. We've got fresh rosemary, fresh shallots, fresh garlic cloves a nice Chardonnay. I've already squeezed it, about a cup of fresh key lime juice, and then we're gonna add about a third cup of heavy cream. You take all the flavor of the white wine, reduce it down, the oils from that rosemary, reduce it down, and it just condenses and makes this amazing, rich flavor. We're gonna take our fresh tarragon. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, y'all can't taste that. Next order of business is our main course. We're gonna saute this fish in the exact same pan that I just cooked those fish cakes on. When the fish hits it, I want it just to whack. I want it to lock that flavor. You want it to have just a nice, moist, white inside. It'll melt in your mouth. No butter, no oil, nothing. Just raw asparagus right into a hot pan. Let it just blister the outside. This is the atomic bomb when it comes to sauteing. The moment that white truffle oil gets hot, you can smell the aroma. Woo! I'm talking about no matter what, you've got to have good ingredients to make good food. This is just a normal day in my life. Catching fish, eating what we catch. 